Justice League issue 22 sees Perpetua awaken from her slumber as Mera implores Starman to evacuate the city, but Starman doesn't know where to since Mixer Spitlick is unwriting the Earth itself. To make matters worse, the Legion of Doom arrive, but Lex tells Mera to stand aside as they are there to save the day. Luther unveils his special box, saying to fight a fifth dimensional imp, you need one of your own. Opening the box, he unleashes Batmite on the rampaging imp. Perpetua meanwhile has her body and mind fully restored stored. Breaking from the chamber she was in, she sees her multiverse is broken and her children are making it worse. 20 billion years ago in the sixth dimension, Perpetua creates her three sons, Alphys, Mar Nouveau and Mobius, telling them who they are and what their purpose is. She shows them the multiverse and hopes that she will make it something striking and unique. She explains to her children that the multiverse she has made contains three realms made up of the three basic forms of matter dark, positive, and antimatter, and each of her children will oversee one of these realms, dubbing her children the World Forger, Monitor, and Anti-Monitor. Perpetua says that her multiverse will soon be populated by universes of vibrant life, and her children will love them. Monitor says that he understands his purpose, but now that his mother has created her own multiverse, what role will she play in serving the cosmos? She says that she will oversee her children and make sure they live. Five billion years later in the Prime Universe, Monitor cannot find his mother, and World Forger hasn't seen her either, although he's been busy working on his forge, where he has created Barbatos to eat worlds that fall back decayed. Monitor shows him a planet which Forger doesn't recognise as one that he has made, and his brother says that it's at the centre of the Prime Universe and is called Earth. Heading to this world, Monitor finds his mother, who is watching small primal humans brutally fight one another. She reveals these are her Martian human hybrid creations and found they were fierce predators and warriors. She tells Monitor that these beings can harness each of the energy she has created and wield them. Monitor looks at what they can evolve to in just under a hundred thousand years as Perpetua says her sons were her first beings and these new ones will be her last and her warriors. Monitor reveals to his mother that he has been troubled and he peered into the omniverse and looked at neighboring multiverses. He says he hoped that the knowledge he could glean from them would guide his functions and he is monitoring a potential crisis as as Perpetua designed him to do. But Perpetua knows there is more than that that her son is hiding. Her son comes clean and says that the other multiverses were formed by people like his mother, yet they aren't present in their multiverses and it implies her function ended when the multiverse she made was created and that she was meant to die along with its creation. But now she is preparing for resistance by creating beings that can fight and live forever. Monitor knows his mother has altered the core of creation into something that is not meant to be, and Perpetua doesn't deny it, asking Monitor if he wants to watch his mother and her creations die. But Monitor says that she is risking infinite lives on some notion that she can overcome cosmic judgment. Perpetua says that she shouldn't need to die when the others in her race live on forever, setting her new warrior children loose on Monitor. 200,000 years later in the Promethean Galaxy, Galaxy, the three sons try and broadcast a signal to all multiverses and inform the judges of the source of Perpetua's actions, since when they reach the shores of judgment, they will be destroyed alongside their mother, and they wish to prevent that from happening. Activating the tuning device, their mother arrives, hearing their cries, and unleashes her creatures upon them. Soon, however, they hear a noise and a giant raptor arrives, telling Perpetua she defies her function and her multiverse will be set right by obliterating her many creations, forcing her to watch as the being says her warriors will be the foundation of a prison wall that will keep the power that she has hoarded. Perpetua's warriors are set in stone, forming what would become known as the Source Wall. Monitor, Anti-Monitor, and World Forger recognize the wall as a boundary, closing them off from the greater Omniverse, and the universe has just been restarted. As Forger heads back to his forge, the Monitors say that they will be reborn soon, and they must keep watch out for their mother. Anti-Monitor is angry with the wall being erected, as it cuts him off from his function, meaning he now monitors a 
wasteland that is the antimatter universe, while his brother oversees a ocean of infinite creation. Monitor says that this was the only way to win against their mother and survive judgment, but Mobius says judgment be damned as his brother will pay for it. In the present day Hall of Doom, Perpetua watches the Legion of Doom fight, knowing her children couldn't quell her message and the universe is called for Doom, so she will now save them all. Justice League issue 22 was a huge issue that revealed the origins of Perpetua and the whole universe. I absolutely loved how it was all tying back into DC universe lore and the way Scott Snyder set it up with these beings like the monitors being in a constant state of life and death and always resetting is a great way to allow also past uh, iterations of these characters or past events that these characters have been involved in to actually still happen. It's absolutely fantastic. I love the reveal of the birth of the source wall and how it came about. That was an awesome way to set that up and when I was reading it I did not expect that to be happening but it was so cool. Now that Perpetua is back fully I cannot wait to see what she will do to bring the universe to doom and how the Justice League will stop her. I'm going to give this issue a 9.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.